With the introduction of Native Instruments Tractor Control F1 and Tractor's Remix decks, a whole new world of performance possibilities has opened up for you. This tutorial will show you some basic performance essentials and tricks that you should know when using the new features of Tractor and the controller. First, we need a remix set to get started. Hit the Browse button on your F1 to enter Browse mode. Pushing down the encoder will load up the set to get started. To trigger a sample from the F1, simply press the pad which is located with the sample you want to play. To stop a sample, hold the Shift button on the F1 and press the Mute button in the same slot of the sample you want to stop. If the Remix X Quantize option is turned on, the sample may not begin to play the moment it's triggered. In this case, the Samples button and pad will begin to pulse to the beat to indicate that it's cued to play. The Samples button and pad will light solid once the sample begins to play. The Quantize option will be explained in depth at the end of this tutorial. If you prefer to use the mouse and keyboard, you can trigger a sample by clicking on the colored area next to the sample. Playback will be stopped if you hold down the Shift key on your keyboard and click the colored area again. Each Remix deck consists of four pages, of which each can hold up to 16 different samples. To scroll through these pages, you need to rotate the encoder on the F1. The samples on the F1's pads will scroll, and the F1 display will show you the current page number. When you push the F1's encoder down, a white bar on the F1 pads will tell you which page you're on. The colored pads will tell you on which pages samples are currently being played back. Row 1 stands for page 1, and so forth. To change the pages via mouse, just click on one of the four page selector buttons on the left edge of the remix deck. The selected page is indicated by a white button. To make sure each sample starts synced and in time, you can use the quantize option of the remix deck and define a beat length after which a sample will start playing. To define a quantize value, hold down the quantize button and either rotate the F1's encoder or press one of the colored pads. Each pad or color corresponds to a different quantized value. Each value stands for the number of beats the tractor will wait until it launches or stops a sample. You can also change the quantized value by clicking on the small arrow next to the current quantized value and selecting a new value from the drop-down list. The entire quantized system can be turned on and off by clicking the blue dot next to the quantized value on screen, or by tapping the quantize button on the F1, which will light up if quantize is engaged.